Hello everyone, Luke here, and today we are playing Port of Call. So we're going to be having a lot of fun here. Let's get started. I think that's, yep, yeah, that's how you start. Definitely, it's a click to start. Keys to walk, WSD, classic, uh, right, left click to interact. Perfect. Right. This seems good. Um. Okay. The mouse seems to drift drift off the screen, so I might need to end up doing like a full 360 to manage to click things, but that's going to be fun. Hello. Uh, I wanted to talk to you. Excuse me. Broken lantern. I want to mess with the lantern. God damn it. Excuse me, I wasn't done with talking to you, and you just buggered off. That's not nice. Hey. What? Oi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Late for what? No, I don't. On board with you. I'll see you on the bridge. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what the hell was that? Come on, get. What? Whoa. Hello. As. Again. That is just really buggered off again. Where'd he go? Is, I'm gonna go and find him. Hello. I'm gonna find the captain of this ship and I'm gonna have a go at him. Where is he? Hmm? Yeah, there we go. Why am I here? Hmm? Oi. Alright, to business, yeah. Why is that turning by itself? This is just creepy. Right? I assume you want to know how to do a job. What job? Get to it then. I'm the captain on this here hunk of scrap. And I have no more dilly dallying. I don't know how I got here. Yeah, what are you talking about? Another idiot. I don't even know how I got here. I haven't had the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. Well, I don't pick my nose, so... I have a ship to run. Well. I guess I can start you off with a simple task. Okay, got it. If that's not too hard for your little weenie brain. I'm going to give you a bit of a old man accent now. Thanks for that. There's a little girl in the front cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. Little rats won't let me come within a fit of her without crying like a little girl. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a little bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of ya. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like the music. Why is there ghosts out there? Goats? No, ghosts. God damn it. Can I? I like how the music's gone. I don't really fancy having copyright. Okay. 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 Don't follow me. Oh, clock. Ah, the ticking on these things always drives me nuts. Ah, you must be a little girl. <laughs> uh, don't eat me. No, who are you? I shouldn't really give her that voice. Who are you? Nobody, I guess. Hmm. Well, you don't look like one of the boogeymen. Boogeyman? The tall, scary man. He has a hood and he's trying to eat me. Are you his scary friend? Boo! <laughs> nah. He's a grouch. Doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary. Yeah, I'll tell you what's scary. Your face right there. Look at that. I don't know what's going on. And weird. You're not exactly normal yourself, you know. Speaking of weird, why are you here by yourself? I'm not sure. Thinking about it, it makes me feel funny. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Who is Ted's? Ted's is the best bear in the world. 
he's my best friend. The last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? Is he near? Does, doesn't look in. Well, no, no, no. I'm very sure it's here. Speaking about, why the hell is that floating books? Girl, you This is weird, but this is double weird. There's floating books in the air. Oh, wait. Are you a ghost? No, you're not. Good. I was just gonna be scared there for a minute. Hey, is this the ghost room? What's that? No, I won't do that. That's disgusting. Take. No, no, see you later. Jesus, they're rude. Oh, the love cabin. Oh. Everything is gonna be alright. No? Alright. Um. Let's. Captain, I think this wall's haunted. It's making whispers. Yeah, you might need to get some, uh. Some stuff and pump it in there. I, d I don't know what you, what you should get, but you should definitely get something. There's something in this. Oh, not you guys again. Can I run? No, I can't. Okay, is that a lift? Is that. No, it can't be. More floating books. And a bed. Yeah, anyone can sleep on that bed. Oh, lovely. Zigzag. Yeah, again with these zigzag things. Was that Teddy Bear? Oh, hello. I picked up Ted's. I was going to say, I forget I appeared right there and I actually freak out. Yay, ghost is still here. Is that a lighthouse? I might swim to that. Yo, little girl. Got it. <laughs> oh, Ted's! I missed you so much! Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mum and Dad were gone. Why are you here now? I don't know. My memory gets all fuzzy. After... After what? The three of us were playing hide and seek. Marcus, Ted's and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot. So I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go and hide with the rest of the teddies. Friends in the toy chest. I climbed in. But the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. What happened next? I called for Marcus as loud as I could, but he didn't come. It was so dark, and I couldn't breathe. And then... It hurt! Why didn't Marcus come find me? I clicked on something, but I don't know what it was. God damn it. Yeah, he always likes being the seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you? Do you think he wanted to find me? I think Marcus wanted to find you. He seems like a good kid. Just like you. I couldn't tell you, kid. All I know is that you're here now. I'll be nice. She's a kid. I think you're right. I remember... I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Captain, this is scary. What's going on? What I hear is was. Right. She just disappeared. Captain, she just, like, obliterated. She disappeared. Did, 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 did you set her free? Or something? Captain. Uh-huh. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely in pet. I can't read that, goddammit. The girl, Lily, made it sound like she was dead. And what of it? Ah, oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. So here, loads, loads off kids off it every day. You need to learn to speak English, old man, or I need to learn how to read. 
And you didn't give a rat's ass about any of them. Well, why would she be any different? Who was she? Do I look like I care? It don't matter. She's dead, and so is most of everyone on this wreck. Am I supposed to have a bleeding heart? Every time some kid shows up with a sob story? Bah! Anyway, I've got another job for you. Nah. Lad did we. Balls. Use the lift at the end of the hallway. Knew it was a lift. And go and talk to the drunken in the bar. I can't understand a thing of that fat man says. And I don't have time of air for bleh, and I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. Right ladies, how's it in here then, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Not doing that, Larry. I've told you several times. God damn it. He always wants me to take down my p I don't know why he wants me to do that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a special area. Is this the button? I'll take that as a yes. This thing's shaking. Am I going down or up? This must be the fat man. Oh! What? Not now. I want for the bartender, young man. I wish you'd get here soon. Oh, I see. Do I have to be the bartender? See if I can get a drink. Uh. That would have smashed in the real world. All right, mate. You can't let a man drink without some music. The crowd next to me won't stop crowding. Why don't we get a song playing? Oh, I guess it's worth to turn off the sound in this room. Because I don't want copyright. Stop it, you ghosts. Christmas past. Um, this button. I think I broke it. Sounds good enough. Now, this is vinyl. Oh. oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. What are you talking about? The fairy man sent me. Ah, uh -huh. did he now? The old crumble of must have gotten sick with my nagin. Well, how about it then? Want to serve an old man a drink? Cheers. Let's see. How about we start off with getting something simple? Yes. I'll have a gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. I'm just gonna pass you a bottle. Um what's this? William? No. I need a gin and tonic. I need a gin and tonic. Do you have to make it yourself or something? I'll pick up rum. Mix vodka with gin. Oh, would this work? <laughs> Yuck. That's not what I asked for. Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Gin and tonic. Oh, now I get it. You do. Sorry, everyone. Picked up orange juice, which is not it. Damn it. Just gonna... For goodness sake, I, I don't mix things here. I don't make drinks. Super delight. Gin and tonic. I need something tonic. Tonic. There we go. Bloody hell. I don't know his names. I don't do fancy stuff. <sighs> ah, that's the stuff. Now then, why aren't you going to tell me about yourself? <laughs> I'm here for your ticket, Gramps. Not to gossip. A fairy man told me the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? This is going to sound stupid, but I don't even remember my name. Hangover, eh? Oh. I don't worry about that much. Things like that have a tendency of a floating back around. Heh <laughs> Get it floating because we're on a boat and, uh, oh, never mind. Anyways, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we go a little fancier? Balls. How about vodka and some orange juice? I found the vodka earlier, but what one is it? This one? Vodka. And the orange was that. Yes, it was. Boom. Eh. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'd tip you, well, if I had any money, that is. Now, 
What were we talking about? The ferryman told me everyone on the ship is dead. Do you think that I am dead? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't look that dead to me, my son. But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on that ship has been dead for some time now. Well, except for the ground trainer in that uh, raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. How can I tell if I'm dead? And that's the question only you can answer, my friend. It's different for everyone. Give it some time, though. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Then, do you remember how you died? Bit alcohol. Uh, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one that's particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I had a, uh, a daughter once, uh, a long time ago. Uh, surface to say, she died in an accident when she was young. And my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken eye, I guess. It was only me and my son then, and, well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. Now then, how about another drink? I feel like saying uh, old fashioned rum and old cola. Rum, okay, so this must be rum. Yep, and cola. I'm getting better. What? Science. Mm, that's some um, strong drink. Thank you, my, my, Marcus. I think I'm gonna take it out now. <sighs> Wait, what did you call me? Marcus, is that my name? I'll take that. It's glitching out again, cat. It's glitching out again. Oh, fine then. Can I go up another level? Blimey, how tall is this shit? Black and orange flames. Oh, magnificent. Wait a second, you go and check on my fellas. Right there? Right there, Larry? No. Uh, where's Bob? Bob in here anywhere? Bob? Bob? No? Guys, told you. Tell me if Bob's here. Is she? No? Alright. Hey! They bugger off again. They always do. It's my face, isn't it? Damn. Hello. Uh -huh. I see you got that old drunk fool's ticket. Good job, I suppose. Right, well, I don't have the time to humor you every fancy right now. The chopping waiters require my full. Wait a minute. The how is that woman doing out in the boat? Oi. Oi, you get off my boat. You're blocking the view. Bloody girl, so listen. Get out there and get her to move. Well. Oh, it's her. I gotta keep from running off because she thinks I'm ugly. Hey, lady! You decided to do it with my face? Because I'm really insecure about that. Hello. You are the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I could ask you the same question. I'm here to collect your ticket. Excuse me, lady, I need your ticket. I've waited so long. Sorry. I've waited here for far so long, I've forgotten the need to speak. I'm waiting for someone aboard this ship to hold on to my ticket. Sorry, I've been holding on to my ticket. There's a lighthouse ahead of us. I'm sure that someone's there. I don't see a lighthouse over there. It's just another sunny day over the blue water. Everyone sees things differently on this ship. That's interesting. Have you tried walking around and talking to the people here? I've spoken with everyone on this ship. I, sorry, I've spoken with everyone I know on this ship. They are innocent 
div divisional and pessimistic. I believe in the shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black civil? I can't say that word on the ship. I mean, shadow is a more figurative way. Those people that you cannot see are people you don't know. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. Not whole. I haven't seen anyone disme any dismembered passengers. Yes, he is missing a large part of himself. His shadow feels like an embarrassment of neg negativity. His mask haunts me. Their masks, got it. Did this person, sorry, did this person help you remember who you're looking for? I didn't speak with him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say. Mostly hurtful. I could not have seen his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. Sorry, I couldn't read it again, but I'm going to move my mouse up here. He is not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Could you help me get down there? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. The masks weighs on me so much. So I'm adding words now. He doesn't seem heavy. What's up with the masks anyway? The masks seem to be our new identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight, but the mask burdens me. If it feels heavy in a way I've never felt. I don't know how much longer I can stay. Think about the person who you're waiting for. Who is he? Dot, dot, dot. He was the one who waited with me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here, but it seemed like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? Well, I think about him now. I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Did he kill you? Maybe the fairy man has the answers. So, maybe the fairy man has the answers. No. He cannot help me. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Yeah, I'm definitely Marcus. I have to be Marcus. Wait a second. She must be my little sister or girl or whatever. Wait, was it Marcus? I'm not sure what it was. So I'm getting old. Uh, spoke the word, did ya? Bloody annoying, isn't she? I think she's out of the way. Well, don't you? Well, don't you have something again you've ever been doing? I'm busy here. You have business downstairs. Go on, get it. Bloody, how does he know? One game session this is then I guess. Going down. To the boiler room, everyone. Okay, let's go up again. Right, hello. At the end of this time, the man from the boy finally emerges. But it's not a coward, still. Or will he face his wraths? Will he let out sands, trickle it out? Or has he had the courage to turn back the hands of fate? The... the fairy man sent me to get your ticket. I like a pawn, you move on. He commands without a thought. Reason over all pain. Do you wonder at all why the reason he might be
be that he saw you wake up in the dark outside of the sea. Perhaps a small mercy care that you have granted unto you. But no such compassion will, be will bestow upon a cavern such as you. The answer you sought I give to you now. A shattered soul has been taken to the edge. Silken wrists broken to the end. But it's the end of the story. Or the start of another. Most likely the former as I... Former as I see, you know, hope for the later. Shattered soul? Sickened wrists? What are you implying? With all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I clicked on it again, my mouse is staying up here again. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. An action can only be strong, as an attention nerves are not needed to cause pain. The sister did of neglect at age six, the father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally, the woman waiting for the man who never came. That's what she said. Lily said, the, Lily said she died stuck in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with it. My father? That drunk man was my dad? I'm the one the woman was waiting for. Oh my god. The gal's more important. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her. Something you were sent had a big brother. Watched her, I knew it. As he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. <laughs> I clicked on Sayanash again, god damn it! All the sadder, the lie that tells, believes. But in the end, you may fool yourself, but you cannot deceive me. So let the weight crush you underneath. You're alone, responsible, guilty. You're right. I abandoned her. That's not what happened at all. The only liar here is you. I wouldn't believe it that easily for something to do with some of my family. You still have questions and I have answers. The father drowned in a cup, but only his son to blame. The woman waiting for the man who never came. Why? My father? That drunk man was my dad? Of course, who else would he be? But was he a loving father or uncontrollable douchebag? I wonder what kind of love compels a man to the bottle where he seeks a solace in spirits instead of the last child. My dad had a problem, but I know in the end, he cared for me. One more call I have before a revolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm, I'm the one the woman was waiting for. Yes, the woman whom was once preferred to love now waits in the grave. Oh, Ash. In the mercenary of beyond. Words I don't know I'm gonna make up. You paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorance of the results in actions you would spoil. And it's called you a shadow. Of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face you still do not see. Flip a coin in the air. And watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side, me. 
I am everything you hate, all you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest limits. You're, you're me, and Alice was my wife. I remember now. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though do not believe that you have won, one more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. Up we go. That went deep, man. I bet you she's gone when I get there. So after that, I'm gonna have to say everything. But uh, killed my sister. My father died because I was being ignorant. You know, it'd be things like that. Is the captain gone? Yep, the captain's disappeared. Something tells me I'm gonna regret going over to that island. I don't see the lady. That's not a good sign. I guess I have to go to the island. Sound should make a different sound. Ah, <coughs> developers. But it's alright. It's on Steam and it's for free. No budget. Well, there is a budget, but there's no payment. two doors here. What's this one? It's you. I can see you now. Do you know who I am? Yes. Marcus. It's always been you. You found me. How did you come back? Everything went dark and then I heard a voice. It was you. You brought me back. But now, you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroad. Crossroads? This place is special. You saw it before I did. It's a junction between the world of the living and the life beyond. It's time to decide. What choice do I have? I'm just a passenger. You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of the world and the world we both came from. But it can't be that way once would you walk through one of these doors. I won't hold on anything against you. I love you. And I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to the life beyond with everyone you've met on this ship. Okay. So that's go to the place where everyone on the ship. This is probably going to be be alive. Old man. <sighs> Well, the cat's out in the bag now, eh, laddie? There's no happy ending here. No sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make. And I, uh, and I don't ivy you one bit. Envy you, I don't know. Now that's your choice. This door to take you back to the world of the living. There might, there might not be any come back here. I can't idle. But I'll wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. Or maybe, it won't be a ship at all. I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice to make. I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. Go to the land of the living? I'd love to. 
but to be honest, if I had a wife, a loving wife, that loved me and still does now, I'd always want to choose to be with her than be back to the land of the living. Because let's say I'm old, she's old with me, I'll have no one left, maybe I'm lucky if I have someone left, I'll only have her and if she goes and I have a choice to stay to the land of the living or go, I'd go. The other side, just got an achievement everyone. Game over. Underdog Games. Wilson Burger, Lynn Burger, Perk, Mario Warden. Okay. These guys are amazing. I have to give you a, an applause. You guys go and download this game. It's completely for free. It's on Steam. It's in the link in the description below. Tell me if you want me to play this again to find out what the other ending says, which I highly doubt anyone's going to want me to do that. But you know, I don't mind. It's a game. And it makes you think, this game. I'm not going to lie. And it's so good. I, I, I can't describe it. It's so good. Yeah. It's a life between them. And I'm happy... Like I said before. If you had no one left. And you're still alive. And you had a choice to live on for like, say, you get another life. Or you stick with the life you've got. But you die. And you spend... Like basically forever as your as your dead self in the afterworld with everyone you loved, I'd pick that. You know, as much as I love living, if I had someone to care about, I'd stay with them. I'd go with them all the way to the end. That was Port of Call. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did playing. Please go and check this game out and support these creators. These guys are amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Luke the Nuke. Signing off. Goodbye, everyone.